Hello everybody, this is Brandon with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion here with the Lightworkers card pool. Um, today I'm using the Petici Marseille deck, and we've got the Nine of Batons, or the Nine of Wands, that a lot of y'all are familiar with. Uh, so with Marseille decks, a lot of times it's, it's best to read those in a little bit of a different way. Um, so when we look at this here, um, you know, we could go into standard card meanings and everything, but you really want to look at what you see, right? So what you see, you see we've got four blocking this way, four blocking that way. It's creating an issue. It's stopping anything from coming through, right? Um, so a lot of times initially, um, now granted that meaning can change based off of a reading, but a lot of times initially when you pull that up, then it's kind of like, oh, an X stop, right? Um, the nine of wands in like a Rider Waite Smith a lot of times or a clone thereof, if you think of it, it's got... You know, the wand standing behind him, eight of them standing up straight. He's looking beat down and he's standing with holding one there, right? It's kind of the same energy and it's it's expressed in a, a more simplistic way, a more energetic way. Um, when I started doing divination, I started with runes, which are fairly similar to Marseille in the fact that it's it's very simple, but it's getting across a um, an energetic attitude, right? Or an energetic message. So what this message is saying is that we've been through a lot of struggles. We've been through quite a bit. The good news is it's nine, tens are the end of the cycle. We're almost at the end of the cycle. We're almost done with those struggles and everything. We've got one piece left though, right? See this thing in the center? That's our defensiveness. That's our traumas. That's, that's everything that we've built up from all of these battles we've had, right? And because we've had all of that, this is the one key, the crutch that's holding all eight of these blocking our paths forward. If we hang on to those battles, if we hang on to those previous struggles, if we hang on to the previous traumas, the previous hurts, etc., it will block our path from the future. It will literally stop us from moving forward. It'll also stop others from coming in. A lot of times, if you wonder why you have communication issues and relationships, it's because one person is blocking the other and the other doesn't want to be blocked. Energetically, that's felt. Now, it'll manifest in all kinds of different arguments and things like that that folks have, but energetically, there will be that block, be, um, whether or not, you know, the words back up that or not. Um, individuals feel that, and that's a lot of times when people are having fights and they don't really understand why they're fighting with the other. It's because it's not really about the words that's happening, it's the energy that's at play. And a lot of times, um, you know, not just relationships, but jobs, life, um, our parenting styles, every way we handle situations, a lot of times is based off of this karma. And, and a lot of people misunderstand the word karma. Karma is actually memory. So every, knowledge, every bit of knowledge that we have here is literally just memory, except for the new things we're creating and we haven't created much, right? Um, so, so the new stuff is, is, is a little bit different. Karma is knowledge, it's memory. You know, a lot of people think it's the boogeyman out to get you. No, it's memory. So hanging on to all of these memories of hurt is what prevents you from going forward. Now, that doesn't mean like if somebody's hurt you, you know, um, to not protect yourself in the future. But if you're hanging on to that hurt, that's going to prevent you from moving forward. It's going to prevent you from progressing in life that's going to prevent you from learning lessons from making better connections deeper connections etc and sometimes it can destroy opportunities for you that don't come back um so it's it's definitely um some good self-work to go into it's definitely something to think about um and to really really work to pull whatever baton whatever that crutch is out so all these can fall down right and a lot of times that's what we do we prop we prop up all these fears and worries on one crutch, and then that blocks our way, right? So thank y'all so much. I hope this card helped today. Um, the day after a new moon, new beginning, so it's a perfect time to break down those walls. Everybody stop blocking yourself, stop blocking others, let everybody in. Um, so that's the message today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if y'all want to book a session with me, tarot, 
um, meditation, breath work, yoga, anything like that, just DM me. We'll get you scheduled in as soon as possible. Also, join me every weekday morning at 9.30, mindfulness um, mornings at Grove Park. Um, definitely, definitely want to see everybody there. Um, Donation-based so everybody can afford and everybody can join. Um, I could have done it on like some classroom platform, something like that, um, charge people. I don't, I, I didn't want to do that. Um, I, I really think right now mindfulness is hands down the most important thing anybody can be doing for their life, for the world, or for others. Um, so I really wanted to uh, to offer that to each and every one of you out there. So again, thank y'all so, so much. Thank you for watching um, each and every day. Um, and, and ultimately, y'all, remove those blocks and just go out there and, and really have a great day on purpose today, okay? Thank you.